Hello YouTube, this is Rugged Savior, giving me some more gameplay and commentary, and before I get to the main topics, I have to say thank you very much for the 200 subscribers that I got on my channel. To be honest, I didn't think I was going to get past 50, but with all of the support that you've been giving me, with my emblem designs and my terrible commentary, you know, I'm surprised and I'm very glad there are people out there who appreciate what I do, so again, thank you very much for your support and I will continue making videos for your pleasure. That being said, let's get on to the main topics here. Now, <laughs> I can understand that the previous entries of Call of Duty have a special place in our hearts. Now, granted, my nostalgically favorable Call of Duty was Black Ops 1 because it was the multiplayer game with the least amount of complaints back in the day. However, in, in my opinion, nostalgia should just be kept in the heart and mind where it can be preserved. I mean, when I go back to playing previous entries, I cannot fathom how outdated these games are, and I cannot adjust due to that newer titles have provided more features. I mean, I guess I'm the only one who feels this impact because for mo most people are saying Call of Duty is dying slowly with every new release. Now, how can that be? Last time I checked in the past, we were subjected to only three kill streaks. Earlier games had broken features like One Man Army and Tactical Nukes. You couldn't have fast ADS movement. Uh, weapon camouflage and map packs were minimal. You couldn't maximize the freedom of create a class like the Pick 10 system does. In all that honesty, it's the future Call of Duty games that have been improving upon what was lacking and will continue to improve based on our feedback. Now granted, no Call of Duty game is ever perfect, but it's damn well getting close to that. If people believe that the future of Call of Duty is declining, you have to realize the kind of people who are making those assumptions. Consider not only the age of each player, but the maturity levels that thrive within that community. I mean, most people complain just because they aren't as skilled as other people, or how they can no longer manipulate one-man army noob tubes. With so many people added to the community, the voices will become louder, but not for the best of reasons. Now, some even go as far as to call Treyarch Infinity Ward and Activision money-grubbing whores, which is totally false, by the way. I mean, how can a company be money-grubbing whores when the people are voluntarily giving their money away to the companies on their own free will? Now, process that fact for a second. Now, the next subject may be somewhat of a sensitive topic, but it's something I have to discuss, which involves cloppers. Now, I've been a member of the My Little Pony community since 2012, and it was all because of my five-year-old niece who allowed me to become interested in the show in the first place. But that being said, over time, I had become aware of a few members of the Brony community who were physically as well as sexually attracted to the characters of this TV show. Granted, we all have our fantasies when it comes to TV shows, movies, video games, but... I had to disagree with this disturbing level of fascination because we're talking about a TV show featuring innocent cartoon ponies displaying acts of kindness and moral equality. Now why destroy that? Now despite my disagreement, I ultimately had no say with what people do with their lives. In addition, I figured after serving four years in the United States Marine Corps for the sake of preserving freedom that I should respect that given freedom. But it gets to the point where clopping itself crosses the line. In this instance, when people create explicit emblem designs for Black Ops 2, for the public to see. I know people wish to express themselves and are trying to be unique within the community, but it shouldn't reach to the point of disgusting other innocent fans of the show, especially the younger audience. And it should also be realized that these kind of emblems have no place in the game. Since they break the code of conduct, they can be and will be banned when reported. When people like myself are around, I ensure that the ban hamper is continuously swinging. If your designs are being erased and your emblem creation privileges are being revoked, don't blame me, blame yourself. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the video and commentary. Please give your opinions within the comment section below, and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching, everybody.